Thanks to The Great Courses Plus for supporting PBS Digital Studios. Are you feeling tired, run down, and overall just <clears throat> bloated? Well, when was the last time you cleansed your body of things like acetaldehyde and bilirubin? What you need is a detox product. I'm not talking about one of those $80 cold pressed beet juice, no. What you need is free, and it's inside you right now in the form of your liver and your kidneys and your skin, and your intestines, and your lungs, and pretty much everything else in your body as it goes down. People talk all the time about how they need to detox. Maybe you had a really, you know, enthusiastic weekend, and now you feel like your body's accumulated a ton of crud that you need to get rid of to get healthy. And there's a line of companies a mile long waiting to sell you juices and smoothies that are supposed to clean out all that gunk somehow. But we've got good news. Before you ever spend a dime on detox, you've already got allies working to keep bad stuff out of your body. Take it from toxicology expert, Dr. Rachel Burks. You know, when you ingest food, it's gonna, you know, your stomach, your intestines, your liver, your kidney. I mean, there's everybody's involved. Like, it's a party down there. As long as you're otherwise healthy, your body's natural detox processes are are incredible at what they do. They don't just let bad stuff pile up until you happen to come along with some kale. And if toxic substances do start to accumulate in your body, then you, my friend, are sick, and you need more help than mere juice can provide. But if something were to happen where a person would either voluntarily or just, you know, wackily get exposed to something in a weird, you know, Game of Thrones-esque escapade, then you, could, you would need to go to the emergency room and get help. You would not need to go to your local corner store and get a kel cucumber, a cy berry smoothie. That is not going to help you. Okay, so skip that. I mean, unless you love it. After the ER, get a smoothie. But what do we even mean by toxins anyway? Juice commercials make toxins seem like they're a serious problem, but they're part of life. Frequently, they come from inside your body. Well, see, that's the funny thing because, you know, you have this phrase detox and everyone talks about toxins and you're, you're eating these toxins and they're poisoning you. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, that's not really true, right? Some of the toxins are just part of the natural metabolic process. When you digest food, nutrients coming from your small intestine make a pit stop at your liver. There, anything nasty has to contend with an entire army of liver enzymes. That goes for any toxins coming in, but also any toxins that are byproducts of your own metabolism. One of your liver's jobs is to keep your own blood from poisoning you. No joke, your red blood cells die off over time, and that produces toxic heme molecules from the breakdown of hemoglobin. Heme is converted into bilirubin then passed off to your liver, and then to your small intestine, where it's on its way out of your body. There's never a time when you're not gonna have blood. I hope. Are you a vampire? It's breaking down inside your body all the time, and your own personal detox system is absolutely gangbusters at removing it. If these toxins don't build up in your body over time, you probably don't need to worry about toxins from your food either. A group of enzymes called the cytochrome P450 family is your liver's weapon of choice when it comes to shunting bad stuff out of your body. These enzymes are chemical jacks of all trades, ready to do whatever it takes to neutralize incoming toxic substances of every shape and size. One of cytochrome P450's favorite tricks is to facilitate the oxidation of substances. It adds a water-loving hydroxyl group to some organic compound. That makes it more soluble in your bloodstream. At that point, the detox baton passes to your kidneys. Your kidneys are constantly filtering your blood, removing soluble waste like excess nitrogen to be excreted in your urine. The oxidized substances coming from your liver are in a perfect position to be snagged by your kidneys before they can cause you any trouble. And what about those weekends of excess? Maybe not the weekend bender. And I think, you know, that's what, you know, medical folks would recommend is, is the moderation, is, the, is not overwhelming your own kind of chemical system. So if anything, it's, it's not detoxing, it's just having a decent diet, you know, a bit of fruit and veg, maybe some grains. Um, and, and maybe not cheeseburgers four times a day. Wait, what? No one said I have to give up my breakfast cheeseburgers? Oh well, now you know. Smoothies probably won't hurt, but the hero of detox is your liver. Thanks to The Great Courses Plus for supporting PBS Digital Studios. The Great Courses Plus is a digital learning service that allows you to learn about a range of topics from educators, including Ivy League professors and other experts from around the world. Head to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash reactions and get access to a library of different video lectures about science, math, history, literature, or even how to cook, play chess, or become a photographer. New subjects are added every month. We recommend Chemistry in Our Universe with Professor Ron B. Davis Jr. 
And they've added audio streaming. This new feature allows you to move back and forth between audio and video without ever missing a word. Help support the series and start your free one-month trial by clicking the link below or going to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash reactions. Thanks to Dr. Rachel Burks for appearing in this video. Got any other chemistry myths and misconceptions you want us to debunk? Let us know in the comments.